and the electrical system of the body, well, you can see why we might have a health problem in this country, and we do have a significant health problem. If we're excreting our B complex and our vitamin C and our electrolytes, and these things are beyond, dis beyond words important for the electrical system of the body, and we're excreting them all the time throughout the day, there's a pretty darn good chance we're going to be deficient, and there's a pretty darn good chance we're not going to be healthy. I would move, and I would present that if you have a heart problem, you should be on vitamin C and the B complex and electrolytes way before you should be on a prescription drug. And if your medical professional, if your medical professional dares to write a prescription for a toxic medication without first suggesting electrolytes and the B complex and vitamin C, I don't know how he lives with himself. He certainly didn't take the Hippocratic Oath, which says do no harm. If your medical professional writes for a statin drug or a deadly calcium channel blocker or beta blocker that has a side effect list as long as my arm before they check for or before they suggest don't even check just just take it potassium calcium magnesium the b complex and vitamin c that's a healthcare professional who should be ashamed of himself quote me on that the water soluble nutrients are energy conductors all of them and that includes vitamin c and this is why it's so important to keep your beyond tangy tangerine going throughout the day, especially if you're under stress, especially if you're working outside, especially if you're an athlete, especially if you're working with your brain, if you're a, a teacher or an accountant or a lawyer, somebody who has to think a lot or write a lot or read a lot. Don't forget, the brain is an electrical system too. And of course, if you've got skin problems, if you've got pigmentation problems, Hyperpigmentation, melasma are a manifestation of the stress response, and in this way, it is important to recognize that even though we're talking skin here, and we've been talking skin here, this is an internal condition. Even though we're talking about skin when it comes to pigment, it's important to recognize that pigmentation, as with all skin issues, are internal first, topical second. We're not talking superficial here. We're not talking pretty. We're not talking cosmetic. We're talking health. We're talking longevity. If you're hyperpigmenting, you're at higher risk for degenerative diseases of all kinds. That's called comorbidity. Comorbidity, a fancy way of saying diseases come together because the body's a system. It's not made up of a bunch of individual parts. Each one of these parts is integrated. So when you have a skin condition, you got an internal condition. And when you have an internal condition, you're probably going to have a skin condition eventually too. Dark spots, melasma, hyperpigmentation, all the skin problems we're talking about are bird, represent burdens on the body, represent the manifestation of burdens on the body. And you have one set of glands, two of them, actually two glands. They're a set, they're a pair that are responsible for helping the body manage stress. And there's no surprise that these two stress glands are intimately connected to pigmentation issues. They're called your adrenal glands, adrenal. They sit on top of the kidneys. The renal, renal means kidney, adrenal means on top of the kidney. Your adrenal glands sit on top of the kidney. And these two little things, man, oh my God, they're about the size of maybe a walnut or a little smaller than that. Holy moly. These things are unbelievably important and they've got super relevance when it comes to skin health. Hang tight. We'll continue talking when we come back from break and take your calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I Farms is Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We got lines open for you. If you're interested in purchasing any of my Truth Treatment products, head to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. I'll tell you what, if you've used our Truth Treatment products and you give me a call at 844-236-6010 right now and you uh, give us a nice little review on it, I will send you out a one month supply of my tooth balm or tooth serum or omega-6 healing cream or uh, nah, i'm not going to do the retinol that one's a little tricky so I'll, uh retinol if you have a, if you've used the truth treatment products give us a call right now 844-236-6010 give us a little review and then we'll get you a uh, a one month sample a four week supply of either tooth balm tooth serum or our omega-6 healing cream and i know there's a bunch of you who've already been sending me letters so uh, just say it on the air and we'll get you out some free samples here 844-236-6010 is our number of course if you have questions about the uh, the true treatment products skin health hyperpigmentation or the longevity products or the longevity business 
844-236-6010 is our number, and we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Longevity products, please head over to brightsideben.com. That's brightsideben.com. You can also uh, purchase products right off of my blog, criticalhealthnews.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or also uh, pharmacistben.com. We update both both with uh, both blogs with news stories as well as posts. Thank you so much to Robert Lundgren and John T. Collier for setting those up. All right, so there's hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you in just a minute. I want to finish up. Uh, I want to finish up. Uh, this, well, I'm not going to finish it up. I just want to mention a couple things about the adrenal glands. These two little tiny structures that sit on top of the kidneys are so important. It's unbelievable. It's really difficult to, to uh, overestimate how critical these things are, but especially when it comes to skin, especially when it comes to dark spots, especially when it comes to oily skin. So that's why when we're talking here hyperpigmentation and dark spots and melasma, what we're really talking about is an internal condition, a stress condition. We're talking here about a condition of burden on the body. One of the classic manifestations of a jacked up adrenal gland system, one of the classic manifestations of burden and stress on the body are menopausal symptoms, hot flashes, anxiety, insomnia, problems with blood pressure, heart problems, blood sugar problems, weight gain issues, depression. All of these, all of these symptoms, all of these symptoms that are part and parcel of the menopausal transition are classic examples of an adrenal system, a bodily stress system that is just working overtime, overburden, and it's no accident that women will hyperpigment when they're dealing with menopause, when they're going through the menopausal transition, because it's all the same process. It's all part of a burden system, a stressed out stress system. How do you handle a stressed out stress system? Well, there's dozens of different ways. There's nutritional supplements, there's lifestyle strategies. We'll continue talking about this tomorrow as we talk adrenal health, we talk skin health, hyperpigmentation, and how it rela relates to the internal milieu of the body, especially when it comes to the stress response. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Rose in Virginia, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. I, uh, Ben, you know, yes. my prayers and love for you. How many would say, um, I have a question about ringworm, but I, yes. it's not related to me, but I have to ask that question. But in terms of vitamin C, ascorbic acid, yes. I had a conversation with somebody last night, and, and the person was mentioning about acerola. Uh, yes, yeah, so, acerola, yes, what were they saying, just so I know? But is that considered a fructose? I, I'm confused about that term. Sure. Let me, I'll explain to you, but I just want wondering, because there's so much misinformation about vitamin C and acerola, I'm wondering what this person told you. Okay, he was saying that, that he will go to this place where they grow, you know, uh, in the Caribbean where they grow acerolas. Okay. But, but, you know, do you have to go to do that? I know well, that that's the, one of the most potent uh, vitamin C, yeah. the acerola. Yeah, acerola is a berry. Acerola berry grows in Mexico, and I think I think there's some in Texas also. Barbados yeah, cherry. Caribbean too. Okay, the Caribbean probably also. Yeah, it's called Barbados cherry or West Indian cherry. Sometimes it kind of look. Have you ever seen it? It's kind of pretty. It looks it's looks sort of. It's beautiful. It looks. It's red. It's gorgeous. Oh yeah, it's totally gorgeous, and it's super it's good for delicious. you. Delicious. Oh, is it? Del I've never eaten it. Is it delicious? Yes. Okay, so yeah, it's it's great stuff, and it's got a lot of cofactors in it, and it's it's a pretty good source of vitamin C. You're going to get, oh, uh, maybe maybe a hundred milligrams of vitamin C per fruit per piece of fruit, something along those lines, which is pretty pretty good dose. Uh, the thing is, is you're not going to get all the vitamin C that you need from a therapeutic or medicinal fashion. You have to eat a lot of these acerola berries, and and you'd have to go down to Mexico to get them because they don't sell them in the supermarket really. Most Eat vitamin they have C. Them in, you know, like in the Caribbean. In, probably in the, the yeah, probably in the Caribbean. But here, you're basically restricted to acerola powder, and acerola powder is indeed a very good source of vitamin C. But it's just not going to get you the big doses that you need. What it will give you, though, are cofactors that work with vitamin C. See, ascorbic acid, like all vitamins, like all synthetic vitamins, is kind of just one piece to the puzzle. And it's very important and very beneficial, but in the way we're supposed to get our vitamins is through foods. So as important as supplementation is, and if we weren't supplementing as a, as a culture, and if there were no synthetic vitamins as a culture, we'd all be in big trouble. 
All right, let's be clear here. I'm not a big believer in synthetic anything, and I love to go natural if we could, but if we didn't have synthetic vitamins, if we didn't have industrially, industrially produced B vitamins, industrially produced vitamin C, industrially produced nutrients, synthetic nutrients, we'd all be deficient and we'd all be suffering and in big trouble. So while I'm not crazy about the idea of, of supplementing or of synthetic vitamins, we really don't have an option. That having been said, in addition to your synthetic vitamins, in addition to your supplements, you absolutely positively want to be eating vitamin-rich whole foods, including berries and cherries and fruit and chili peppers and cantaloupe and um, uh, uh, any kind of peppers really are going to be good sources of vitamin C. Kiwi and, and papaya, these are all wonderful sources of vitamin C and the bioflavonoids and other nutrients that work hand in hand with the vitamin C. So acerola, the, whether you're doing the whole fruit, the berry, or the cherry, whatever you want to call it, or the powder, yes, your friend is absolutely right. It's a wonderful source of vitamin C. You're just not going to get the super high concentrations of the stuff that you need, which is why you want to do your acerola with your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You want to do your natural vitamin Cs or natural vitamin C containing foods with your synthetic vitamin C, in my humble opinion. Does that help? Yeah, I want to ask you this question, a part that I have that question about the ringworm. Yes. I want to give a testimony. Uh, the other day, uh, I had a weird, I'm trying to stay, and believe me, I'm an outdoor person, but with the chemtrails, I'm not, I have some reaction in my skin, and, you know, I didn't care for the way my body was reacting every time I went out. I had hives and all stuff like that. Just from the sun? No, just going out walking. Wow. Yeah, and then I just said, look, I'm going to stop doing this walking, although I know the benefit, but I, I can do other types of exercises. And then uh, I started having some kind of headaches, and I knew that I was lacking vitamin D3 based on me. You have been my teacher, you know, my mentor. And so I started taking, I took, uh, I put my head to get some sunlight. Then I put some uh, black seed, the golden flax seed, the water. Yeah. Believe me, that made the difference. Right? Ha hang on, Rose. I got to take a break. I want you to finish up because that sounds very interesting. You drank flax seeds and water? Is that what you're saying? Put it on my head. On your head. Hang on, Rose. Don't go away. I want to hear about this when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you. So, Rose, in Virginia, you're putting flax and water on your head, you said? Yeah, I, I, what I did, you know, I, I have vitamin D3. It's just I haven't used it because I'm trying to take advantage of the sunlight in the summer. I did the research about that plus what I have learned with you. And uh, like I say, you're my mentor. And uh, I'm so grateful to you. Thank you. I appreciate after that. the Lord. And how would I say, you know, I said, I, this, these symptoms I have, it was something light. I said, this is that I'm lacking vitamin D3. So I put my head in the car so I could get some sunlight. And then I said, I'm going to put some flaxseed, golden flaxseed. Yeah, did you grind and I it up? I it soaking in water, and then I okay. put it, you know, I just put the water. And it gets, you know, it, you know because huh. it's porous, you, you get the, the, the inside of the membrane. It, it, it is awesome. That is oh. great news. That's really interesting. You know, I've been drinking flaxseed water for months now. It's amazing for your. It it's amazing stuff. Flax seeds are loaded with loaded, absolutely loaded with nutrients. There are some anti-nutrients in there, and that's why you want to sprout them uh, yeah. or wet them a little bit. So that's great, great, great strategy no. there. Congratulations, Rose. Thank Did you, you want to ask? You know who I mentioned it to? To uh, Joyce Riley. Oh, which is? Because you know, I know that a flax seed is very good for, for cancer. How's she doing? How's Joyce doing? So she's, I, she's doing much better, praise the Lord. Praise but God. I wanted to ask you this question. Yes, I gave the testimony to Dr. Parker. He calls in Republic about, 
I mentioned your name. You know, you know how much I love for you. We love you, Ben, and how much respect we have for you. You know what you do. And I mentioned to him the testimony and about the flag seat, the golden flag seat. Yeah. I learned from you. Yeah. 